Hey everyone, Zach Royal here, Habitat Restoration Coordinator with the American Literal Society. I hope you were all doing well. I wanted to do this quick little video to give you an update on the work that we are doing related to Rec Pond. Obviously, given the coronavirus, we can't be out there now doing our normal monitoring. But what this time of quarantine does provide is an opportunity to work on projects that maybe otherwise we didn't really have time to work on. So one of the things I always wanted at Rec Pond was an underwater camera. Uh, I thought it would be a nice way to complement some of the monitoring that we're already doing, maybe provide us a little bit more information on river herring behavior as they move through the system, and I thought it would just be really cool. So um, I built one. Now I can't take credit for the design. This is, I got this from a guy named Daniel Hodges, he's got a YouTube channel. He had a whole DIY on how to build this. It's really good. If you guys are interested, I suggest you check it out. But it's really a, a simple design. This in here is a USB camera that I bought on Amazon for about 40 bucks. Uh, there is a plexiglass sheet that's covering it. Here is three inch diameter PVC and there's a PVC end cap. And then I also used epoxy and silicone. So all this stuff can be bought either online or at a hardware store or some combination. In total, I think everything was about 60 bucks, really with the camera being the most expensive. So to, to build this thing, it's actually quite easy. Started off cutting, I had a plexiglass sheet. I cut a circle out the dimensions of my PVC. I then epoxied the camera to the plexiglass here to hold that camera in place. And then epoxy this plexiglass, which is serving as like a large lens now, to this PVC to keep it secure. Next, I cut a channel back here to allow this cord to escape once this cap is on. And then I pumped this entire thing filled with silicone. You can kind of see in there to keep it waterproof. And that's it. Really, really simple. Uh, this is the first prototype that I did. I've while constructing it, I've got some ideas on how to improve it with the next iteration. Uh, but for right now, I think it's working pretty well. So the idea is, once I can get back out there, I'm going to install this at Rec Pond. This end of this USB cord, right? It's just a typical USB. I'm going to plug this into an old laptop that I have. And on that laptop, I'm going to download video recording software and motion detection, motion detection software, importantly. So this camera will only operate, will only record when it detects motion. So that'll cut down on the amount of hours of video that I'd have to watch. And then the next step, after that's all set up, is to hook up solar power to this whole thing. So I've got some ideas on how to do that. Stay tuned, that'll be a, another video coming up. But um, hope you guys enjoyed. I want to leave you with a little bit of test footage that I shot. So thanks for watching.